Hello, Cook Class. This is our maths lesson for today. Today, like we've been doing all this week, we are going to practice counting to ten. But we're going to do it twice from two different numbers. The first number that we're going to practice counting to ten from is two. So we're going to count to ten from two. Show me two fingers. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Now we're going to count to ten from eight. So you need to show me eight fingers. Eight, nine, ten. Well done. If you're finding that a bit tricky, you can get somebody in your house to help you or you can watch the video the first part that little part of the video again okay now today we're going to go and play one of our games that i've really enjoyed watching you playing on tapestry and that game is bowling i've seen lots of you having a lot of fun playing bowling in your house using different things but i was thinking when you actually go to play bowling you don't just get one turn to try to knock down all the, all the skittles, you get two turns. So today we're going to play again, but this time instead of just one turn, you're going to have a go, have a chance to play it twice. So, I've got some plastic cups and I've got a blue ball that I found in school. But you can use anything that you can make skittles from. And you can make a ball out of paper. Remember, it's a good idea if you're, whatever you're trying to knock down is light so that the ball and the ball is heavier so it can knock it down. Now, I remember you get two goals, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Through here, you need a place where you can start. I'm going to use the table, the length of the table, as my lane. To knock down some of the skittles. Ready? You get two goes. Ready? And then once you've knocked down some, you have to take the count how many you've knocked down. So I've knocked down just one. And then you put it on one side. Now I get another go so I can reset up my skittles in my triangle like we do when we play skittles and I've got another go at trying to knock them down so I put one of the, the cups that I knocked down here and I'm going to have another go to see if I can knock them down there ready wish me luck Ooh, that went a bit better some of them even went off the table. See how many I got this time. One. Get the one off the table. Or off the floor, sorry. Two. Now I knocked that one down by accident. Let's put it back. Okay, so I've got on the two sides the two different turns I had. So my first go, I knocked down one skittle. On my second go, I knocked down two skittles. I'm going to use the two different, the, my two different goals of the scores to make a number sentence. I'm going to use the whiteboard, you can use paper. So for my first go I got one. One. Add. On my second go I got one, two. Then I need to put them together. So one, two, three. So one add two equals one, three. Three. So my challenges for you today are number one, can you count out how many count out ten objects and then Knock over some and see how many you knocked over. 
and say if it's more or fewer than someone that you're playing with. Challenge number two. Have two goals and then can you add them together? So have your two goals like I did and then can you add them together? So all together it's made three. So add them together and make a number sentence to show your addition. And then number three, can you have multiple turns? So have a few turns or play against somebody in your head and see who wins by adding up all the scores. So who got more and who got fewer? Make sure to share your work on tapestry and let me know, mums and dads, how your children found this lesson. Stay safe everybody and have fun bowling at home. Bye!